Lars, a high school student, was just finishing out the school year. On the eve of the last day before summer vacation, his mother called for him, gave him some money, and offered to buy a bouquet of flowers he could give to the teacher. Lars didn't think that was a good idea, but his mother insisted that it would be the right thing to do, because the teacher had been working tirelessly to instill much-needed advice for the teen to successfully enter college. In the end, Lars gave up trying to convince her otherwise. The next day, he went to school with a lush bouquet, but was in no hurry to hand it over. Lars's teacher was known for her temper, and her stern statements flowed like a waterfall, often leaving students fearful of having a wrong answer. No one liked her lessons, and Lars surely didn't want to give her the flowers. At that moment, the school cleaner, Mrs. Kendrich, walked by with her cleaning cart and smiled warmly at the young man. Lars reasoned to himself that he never once saw Mrs. Kendridge irritated or frowning. She was friendly with everyone, did not get angry if the students were mischievous, and often came to the rescue of teens in trouble at home. She once spent an hour helping Lars glue back together a poster for a school project he had accidentally torn. Another time, when the teen stepped in a puddle and soaked his shoes in mud, Mrs. Kendridge got him a clean pair and dried Lars's sneakers in the janitor's closet while classes were in progress. With that, Lars approached the woman and handed her the bouquet. With this sincere impulse, without a prepared speech, he thanked her wholeheartedly for her generosity. Mrs. Kendridge's eyes suddenly became teary-eyed, and her lips trembled as if from an excess of feelings. She was left speechless. Lars, feeling uncomfortable at the emotion, said goodbye and ran to the classroom. Three months later, when the new school year began, a strange man had taken over the janitorial duties of the school. Mrs. Kendridge was no longer working at the school. A surprised Lars asked his friends whether they knew anything about the change. One of the students, who happened to be Mrs. Kendridge's neighbor, replied, It's very strange. On the last day of the school year, she came home touched with a large bouquet of flowers and said that she believed in people again. Something seemed to have changed about her. Lars's friends continued to explain how, a few weeks later, Mrs. Kendridge resigned and opened a stationery store, for which, as it turned out, she had long saved money for with a friend. Despite the amount, the woman could not find the strength within to start her own business. She believed she was too old and worried about such a risky investment. She refused to rely on anyone's help. But the shop thrived. The friends do business together, supporting each other, and people are just happy to shop for what they need from her. Something happened that day that inspired her to change her life, his friend concluded. Lars was confused and excited. Was his insignificant act the impetus for such an amazing change? Sometimes even the smallest act of kindness can turn someone's life for the better.